Hey, wait up, dogs! Welcome back to Girl Attacks Clicker Heroes. Uh, let's get right back into it, shall we? Rawr! Uh, totally forgot about that part. Okay. Patch notes. Patch notes. Have we not beaten this dude already? I could have sworn we got to a point. Anyways. Oh, shit, no, no, no. I was about to hit the Dark Ritual, but that would have uh, dropped our DPS by quite a bit. Let's wait until we hit this Octo Tentacle real quick, which should work because we w went halfway at like 10 seconds, so yeah, there it is. It's gone. We enter here, and now we hit the Dark Ritual. This is going to slow us down a little bit, but it's okay. We can be, uh, we can slow down for a little while because, uh, next up, we're going to be talking about the Mass Samurai. It's been a, as you can see, it's been a few uh, days. I think it's just like one day, one or two days. It might have been like two days since I uh, last recorded, so all of these are uh, back to being you know, available. Uh, and we got a ton of money. Oh, so much money that no, I was like, oh, can we buy Dread Knight? Fuck no, of course we can't buy Dread Knight. He's 10,000 U, not yet at least. Uh, but let's see if we can, eh, we don't need to upgrade our heroes just yet. Right, once again, right now. I'm just gonna focus on uh, doing the lores here, the lores of all the dudes. So, uh, so, uh, and uh, that way we could just like get it out of the way, uh, and uh, and continue on like and afterwards, like much later on, once we're done with all that lore, we'll just uh, focus on gameplay and stuff. Uh, but for right now, I'm having loads of fun. Uh, revealing all the lore shit to you guys. So let's do that. Oh, okay, we went back to idle. I, I spent too much time. All right, let's talk about the Masked Samurai. Right now I have, what, how many guilds? Two guilds on the Masked Samurai. So right now she looks a little bit different. It is a she. Uh, she's got this big old long sword. But before it was just like, it was nice straight black get up, just like a regular samurai should be. Um, or a Masked Samurai, to, to be quite honest. Uh, but let's, uh, let's go ahead. I think it's, yeah, we leveled her up one time, so I believe it was 100k to purchase her, but, uh, ooh, here's the treasure chest. Bye-bye. Oh, that barely gave us shit, because we're super early on, I'm guessing. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, Mass Samurai, uh, let's read about it. Uh, his, oh, it's a guy. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was a girl. His menacing weapon will no doubt prove useful to you. He says he was once a great leader in the Eastern Land. But you're not sure whether or not to believe him. <laughs> All right. So um, so there's a few things going on right there that we can uh, assume. Uh, one, we're not in the eastern lands. Okay, where we are is separate from the eastern lands. It might be the western lands. Who knows? Northern or southern lands. But then again, we have all these weird enemies that got like Americanized names: uh, Flaring Copernicus, Scorpinch. So I'm guessing we're like in the west somewhere western civilization so this person presumably came from one of the eastern lands in the eastern civilization areas asia if you want to be more specific about it um but we don't know <laughs> we we don't know whether or not to believe him because I, I guess he didn't bring his papers with him okay uh let's go ahead and level him up to level 10 real quick and uh, how how high is the volume right Oh, volumes at like 20? I'm sorry, I was bringing that down. There you go. I, I bet y'all were like, whoa, that's super loud for some reason. Well, that's the reason why. Where's uh, in this dude? Okay, real quick, I just want to see if we can get this boss. You think? Nah, we, we're not getting this boss anytime soon. Um, well, not, not anytime soon, but uh, maybe if we... Okay, so yeah, we have a ton of N, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the N out of these dudes. There we go. Yeah, they're oh, they're going so fast now. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, we're we're good for a while on the progression. Don't you worry. Let us uh, let's just uh, go back here and uh, talk about the Master Emrise upgrades, shall we? Uh, Jutsu one um, in this game. It's not ninjas who learn ninjutsu like in Naruto, <laughs> but it's Samurais. Uh, I'm guessing since it doesn't say Ninjutsu, it, uh, of course, it's not a Ninja Jutsu, it's just a Jutsu, which is a regular Samurai can do. Samurais are not ninjas, in case you're uh, confused on that uh, the, the, the part. Um, oh, and I just got it, a Mouse Witch. It's not like a weird, hilarious name, but it's a Mouse Witch. Oh. Funny, funny. Uh, anyways, 
let's, uh, let's read this. Jutsu number one. Oh, this is going to be so good on one. There we go. Uh, the Masked Samurai says he knows the greatest sword fighting teacher in the world. This training will greatly benefit his abilities. Okay, so Jutsu one. I don't know if this is like a, like a paper we sign to have him train with the best dude in the world, or if this is just the teacher who wrote down all his like lessons in this book. Either either or it increases his DPS. So let's pick that up. All right. Uh, next up is at level 25. So let's go ahead and bring this up to level 25 once again. It's a little scroll over here. Uh, Jitsu 2. Yeah, these are these are a little less uh, imaginative than the other characters were, but um, but let's add some imagination to it, shall we? Okay, Jitsu 2 raises it by 100 percent again. Uh, you've never seen him train with this great teacher he always refers to, but his combat skills have improved, so what do you have to complain about? Okay, so either he disappears for a while and comes back and claims that he uh, has trained with this great teacher, or we, like, it's literally you've never seen him train with this great teacher because he's always been on by our side punching enemies, which is, which it, you could take it either way. Honestly, if we're going with the the lore, the background that all these dudes are super badass, even from the very start, then I guess, yes, the Mass Samurai, every time we buy a Jutsu for him, uh, which I'll do right now, uh, <laughs> it, um, it's like, it makes the Samurai who's fighting next to us go like, okay, I'm leaving right now to train with the Samurai, and I'll be back soon, and I'll be stronger. Um, which is very mysterious and awesome, but also, uh, who's this great teacher they keep speaking of? Uh, is it so one of these dudes later on in the future that we meet? Who knows? Who knows? But for right now, we don't know. And it's, it's making him very mysterious, but also, he, he, like, we're not complaining. He's doing a lot of damage. So, um, so we... Oh, yeah, what did you expect? Jutsu 3. Let's go ahead and bring it up. It's just all different colored scrolls or something, but... <laughs> okay, here we go. What if he's lying? What if he's just holding back his DPS for money and doing a bit of extra each time you pay for his training? Okay, so I'm guessing this Jutsu 3 then is like the lore is... Yes, this is uh, like a... What is it called? A permission slip that we're signing that also we have to give money to like it says right there 10,000k uh, so that he can go and train with his master but also we're not sure whether or not he's actually trained with a master or if he's just like oh I'm not doing as much damage right now maybe you should pay me and I'll do more damage well there you go buddy we're paying you do extra damage don't you dare disappoint me mass samurai also a uh, quick note about mass samurai um, I believe the strategy uh, if you're doing like early game, uh, like super ascension runs and super guild runs, is that you you put all your guilds uh, on mass samurai as much of them as possible. I I haven't done that just because it's you know I haven't made that many hero souls uh, to to try doing that. Uh, what they suggest is that um, instead of like. Uh, yeah. Instead of uh, putting hero souls on a hero, which costs 80 hero souls, what you do is you de-guild... Sorry, you put a guild on a hero by using 80 hero souls. You de-guild a hero for... Uh, how much is it? De-guild... Uh, and gain a new... Yeah, which is two hero souls, which is very cost-effective. Uh, but also, it goes to a random dude that you that you have unlocked, and we've unlocked quite a bit. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five... 5x5 five five is, um, uh, it's 25. So it has a 1 in 25th chance of being the Mass Samurai for two hero souls. I believe it still, like, uh, comes out to, uh, like, a better amount hero soul-wise. Uh, especially if you don't have too many hero souls to do this. Um, but, um, but apparently it's, it's totally worth it and it makes him, uh, that much more, uh, it makes your runs and your ascensions that much more stronger and faster. Anyways, enough of, enough of that strategy talk. Let's go back to the lore. Where are you at? Okay. Oh, what did you expect at this point? Jutsu 4 is where we're headed. Jutsu 4 is brown and shitted. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's probably making everything up. Roman numerals don't even belong <laughs> with Japanese words. As well, what can you do? 
Oh, he's gonna said, Ah, well, what can you do? The added damage would be useful. You know what? Man Samurai? Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna pay a little extra money, and, you know, I, you could lie all you want to me, it, like, whatever. There it is. And the thing is, the lore doesn't explicitly say that he's making everything up. It says he's probably making everything up. If we're going with the lore background that he's not making everything up, and that everything he's telling us is the truth, then it's like, it's one of the more, more badass things here. But it's not as badass as some of these other dudes have been. Like, I mean, yeah, he's a great samurai. He's got a pretty awesome sword and stuff. But, like, that's that's about it. It's a pretty uh, pretty lackluster character, in my opinion. But um, but the, the, the comedy gold in 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you're going with the non-badass like badass lore canon here, is that, like, this dude's just, like, fucking you for money, basically. All right, looks like we hit a plateau at 160. Do I, uh, I did go like a little bit over halfway at the end of that. Um, let's see, do I have money now? No, no this one's 31,000 in it. So I think I'm just gonna save my money until I get there. But real quick, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of these uh, skills. Yeah, I got time. It's like 11 minutes into the video. I'm gonna use some of these skills to, uh, to defeat this guy that we can uh, continue on with the progression. So, uh, just waiting on the, just waiting on the stuff. Once again, I'm going to do my regular strategy of uh, hitting uh, Energize, Super Beast Clicks, then reloading the Beast Clicks for, like, future use, immediate future use, and then hitting 1 through 5 as, as fast as possible. So, uh, and I'm going to do that once the clock runs out so I can do it, like, so it can have as much effect as possible. So here we go. There it is. There we go. Win, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in farming mode so that once we do actually win, boom, we go straight here and we can get some really good progression on these levels so we can not to get a lot of gold in the process, um, but also just skip a bunch of levels. Alright, that's it. Okay, and starting here is when we're going to do shit damage, but then we're going to idle again and do greater damage. And holy shit, 24,000 N, huh? Uh, well, we're going to save it, because we're going to we're gonna buy all the stuff on the dudes here in order. It's got, that's what I got to do, man. It's got to be in order. And then we're going to start on, um, we're going to start on, uh, bringing dudes up to level 1,000, not counting Sid the Helpful Adventure, and I'll tell you why, uh, later. I'll tell you why later. Okay. Oh, and you know what? I'll actually tell you right now. Uh, because, yeah, because we have an opportunity to do this. I'm just checking to see. Uh, he's going to uh, talk about Okay. Because uh, the fact that we leveled these dudes up to 200, 275, take, take a look now. Take a look now. Now, instead of uh, like just having the DPS there right up there, now they have these multipliers right underneath it. That's because I believe once you get to level 200 on a hero, um, okay. Once you get to level 200 on a hero, yeah, I think it's definitely 200. Once you get to level 200 on a hero, they start doing four times more damage than like their previous level, basically. So level 199, there they still let like, go the regular progression like they always do up here. But then the 200 level, they go up that same amount of progression. Then it's multiplied by four, so it's good to get uh, it's good to get heroes up to level 200 as quickly as possible. So you're doing like crazy fucking damage, uh, but it's not conducive to do that until you get to this point where you're just like waiting on Dread Knight, basically. Um, uh, and also, uh, the reason why we're gonna get not we're gonna get people up to uh, well before I say that. As you can see, it says four times, le uh, well, we're at 200, so we're at four times. But then it says four times damage at level 225, and then at 250. So, if you're paying real close attention, you'll understand that if we do, like, level 201, or level 210, then that four damage multiplier goes away. It goes back to his regular progression. So, that's why it's super important to hit the Z key and level up these dudes 25 at a time once they start getting level 200. That way, they always have their four times damage multiplier. You're always doing the most amount of damage. And also, at level uh, 1,000 for each hero, specifically at 1,000, instead of doing four times damage, they do 10 times damage. It's really 
really good for you to level up people to level a thousand even even if they're just like uh, the shitty dudes up here because a uh, tree beast at level a thousand is actually oftentimes better than like uh, Shinatobe at level 200 which sounds crazy but trust me these dudes get like they get really expensive once you get them to a higher level and the funny thing is uh, once you get okay nice. uh, once you get them to level 1000 the next one like level 1025 goes back down to four times instead of ten times so keep like get leveling up people to level 1000 and keeping them at level 1000 is a smart strategy for you unless you have so much money and stuff that leveling them up past 1000 to like let's say 1500 or 2000 is much more better damage wise for you than keeping so, uh, so there's my strategy talk for uh, this episode. We're going to go ahead and uh, uh, leave you right here, and we're going to come back with Leon in the next episode of Garo Attacks Click of Heroes. I'll catch you guys then. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you're enjoying the series so far. I know I am, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Die.